What's the purpose of this? Well, the purpose of this is to look at how fuels ignite with convection. We've always assumed that it's been radiation that's been driving all of our fires, but we really don't understand how things ignite due to convective heat. So what we have here is, is basically just a, an apparatus that allows us to convectively ignite anything we want without any of that radiation um, being involved. So we're basically blowing hot air out of here. We are blowing, yeah, just pure hot air. Uh, right now it's about 1,350 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so it's really hot air. Right here I've got just some live lodgepole pine needles. Um, this is a very common species that occurs around uh, Montana and in the northern Rockies. So once I have a sample in here, I just slide it into the heat and you can see uh, uh, quite a bit of a fireworks show before it ignites. It doesn't even require flame to ignite. No, just hot air. Most people <laughs> expect that you have to have flame touching something to set it on fire. Well, flame is essentially just hot air. I mean, it's, it glows and you can see it, but it's really just hot carbon dioxide, hot, hot, hot water vapor, um, hot gases just mixed together. Yeah. Uh, so that's really all a flame is, it's okay. hot air. How can this understanding this help firefighters? Well, it helps us understand how fire works. And once we understand how it actually spreads, we'll be able to predict it a little bit better than what we can now.